Okay, so one thing that I want to go over is setting up command aliases. And I feel like this is important to do pretty early on uh, because um, it's, I mean, it's, it's really important to know all the commands that you're using. And um, command aliases help if you're doing a lot of command line commands. If you're using ribbon mostly or the uh, toolbars and icons, it probably won't help you as much. But if you are using the command line, which to myself I think is personally the fastest way to go, um, <clears throat> then it can really benefit you to create some command aliases. Now, what are command aliases? They are shortcuts to commands. If you've uh, been following these videos, you've seen me do a lot of them already. Um, instead of typing in the line command, you can just type in L. Um, and that's your command alias. I think I even went over this on like one of the first videos. Uh, you can do this with a lot of commands. Um, a lot of commands. And there is a, a list if you, you can view to see what the uh, aliases are. A lot of them you can just figure out on your own. They're, they usually follow the, the, the first letter, two letters, three letters of some of this stuff. Um, you can also edit aliases, override previous ones, or make your own new ones. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Um, one way to do it, this is not my preferred method, but one way to do it, and the most common way, is to type in alias edit. And it brings up this alias editor. Now the file that's editing is called the PGP file, and it's going to be important to, to know that in, in a second. Um, you can see all of the um, command aliases that are here, and there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Um, some of them don't really make sense. Like you here is Mirror 3D, but 3D Mirror is the alias for that one. Not uh, not exactly um, intuitive or helpful. But something like A for arc, well, that's that's fast. You know, AA for area. Um, you can go through all of these and see what is useful to you. You know, um, AR for array, M for move, C for copy, B for block. They're all alphabetical. You can add your own or remove ones that you don't want. Um, now, I don't prefer using this method. I don't prefer using it because... I feel like I've had issues in the past where I'll add an alias through the alias editor and it does not save it or does not work properly. So um, you can you can take a chance at it and add. Um, that's not my preferred method. My preferred method is to go to the actual PGP file itself. And the way to get there is to go to your menu bar. Again, if your menu bar is closed, menu bar, set it to one and it will pop up. Go to tools, customize. Edit Program Parameters, the PGP file. You'll get this notepad file that pops up. And this is a list of all of the um, default um, aliases that are in AutoCAD, along with some other ones. And it tells you um, what each one of them are for. When you get to the very, very bottom, you'll see User Defined Command Aliases. I'm going to read this off to you. Make any changes or additions to the default AutoCAD command aliases in this section to ensure successful migration of these settings when you upgrade to the next version of AutoCAD. If a command alias appears more than once in this file, items in the user-defined command alias take precedence over duplicates that appear earlier in the file. What this means is that anything you do here overrides anything prior. A good example of that is redraw. Redraw is seldom used now at all because tags, uh, or not tags, the blips are not used. Uh, back in the day, blips were used and used to have to do redraw. Uh, just real quick, give you a little, 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 little diddle on this one. I'll turn my uh, blips on if you really have to have your blips on because you're, st uh, why? I don't know. Dot blip mode. Set it to on. And you'll see as I, um, where's it at? See, now it's not even going to do it. There it is. There we go. As you click, that's what it is. It leaves these little blips everywhere. I guess it shows you where your selection windows used to be at one point. So, I don't know. Anyways, you can get rid of them apparently by doing a fence, but... You can also get rid of them with redraw, R, enter, okay? Redraw was a big deal back in the day, but not anymore. It's, it's rarely used. I'm going to turn my blip mode back off. 
Okay, that was kind of an unnecessary tangent, but I was just showing you a point. I don't need redraw, so I can overwrite that. Um, I'm going to overwrite that with using the rotate command. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make my own alias. Now, RO is already for rotate, but I got I to gotta cross the keyboard for that one. If I just use R, I can keep my left hand on the keyboard, right hand on the mouse. And that's the main goal for using aliases for me. If I can keep my left hand on the keyboard, my right hand on the mouse, I can be a lot faster that way. And I am a lot faster that way because of that reason. So I'm going to make my own alias for rotate using R as my alias. Okay. The format for this is enter your alias, comma, tab, and two spaces. That will match up with what's up here. Then an asterisk, and then type in your command, rotate. While I'm here, I'm going to do a few other ones. I'm going to do uh, my personal um, DD. This is for dim linear. CC I use for copy. I do this because I don't want to have to type in CO. But C is already taken by circle. A lot of people don't feel like circle is very important, so they'll use C for copy. And if they gotta have circle, they'll just type in circle. No big deal. You, you make whatever aliases make sense to you. But for me, I still use circle a lot, and I'm used to using circle with just C. So I use CC for copy now, and I've gotten into a big habit of that. So when I go on other people's machines, it's very hard for me not to use it. Okay. Um, I, there's probably other ones I use. I know like uh, FF for, I use a lot of duplicates because they're fast. Um, FF for lay freeze. TT for lay thaw. Um, all right, I think that's good enough for now. I, I can't think of anything else right now. I, I might have a bunch of them, but I'm just not going to worry about them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save this file, okay? Just control S or file save. I'm going to close it. Now, normally when I restart CAD, all my new aliases will start working right away. But if you don't want to restart CAD, you can type in reinit, and it brings up this little window, and you just say, you just click here for PGP faults. It's the only thing you can you can select. And you say, okay. And it reinitializes your PGP, your program parameters, so that you can use those now. So now, when I want to copy this line, instead of typing CEO, I can type CC, and it initiates the copy command. And I don't have to worry about, you know, going over here and dragging this and whatever else. I can just CC and I'm done. It was like that fast. So just line CC. That's it. Because I don't have to worry about type. I mean, I, I, I mean I'm, I've been doing, been doing this long enough. I can type in CO and just do it that way just as fast. You know what I mean? Well, not just as fast. But. Fast enough, right? But I like using CC. It's faster. I like using DD for dim. I don't want to have to... I could come up here and click this, but I'd rather not. I use this toolbar for the other commands. DD is faster for what I need. Oh, there's, there's another one I just forgot about. Dim continue. I, again, I don't want to hunt for the icon. It slows me down a bit to have to go hunt for that icon. So I go to Tools, Customize, Edit Program Parameters, scroll all the way to the bottom, and my, um, my dim continue is DDC. Uh, dim continue. Save. Reinit. PGP. Okay. So do a dim. DDC. And there we are. Command aliases are super helpful if you're using command line. And I encourage you to try to get used to the command line because you never have to worry about going to someone else's machine and, oh, they're using toolbars. Oh, they're using the ribbon. Oh, they don't have anything. You know what I mean? If you know the commands uh, through the command line, you don't have to worry about any of that because you can just type everything in. Um, but it is important you still know the base command. Aliases can help you on your own machine be faster, but when you go to somebody else's machine, they will not have those aliases set up. So um, it's important to know what the default alias is or what the command is. I've had people who do change uh, uh, copy to, to uh, or circle to copy. Uh, so I'll, I'll go do a circle command and it's doing copy instead. You just need to know what commands are what first and then you can do your aliases, but it will help you out by uh, doing your aliases that way. So just to recap, alias edit, 
We'll bring up this one. You can add stuff here, and you can probably see my new ones in here. Let's see, DDC, dim continue. And there it is. Um, and they're there. And my again, you could try, and if they if you can add your 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 aliases through here, and if they add, no problem. If they don't add, well, not much I can do for you. Um, let's try one. Let's see. The command is uh, BB auto command autocad command is going to be break line. Hit OK. Overwrite my PGP. Let's see. And it worked. BB uh, did did that. It, uh, it uh, initiated the break line command. Now let's see if I if that uh, if that um, alias has been inserted into the program parameters. Yep, there it is at the at the bottom. So, in this case, it worked. It hasn't worked for me in the past. Um, so if it, it, you could try that method, and if it works, great. Don't even worry about coming through here. Um, but if it doesn't work, you can always go, you know, the back door through the uh, PGP file and add your stuff that way. So get used to using command lines. It's going to help the command line with your commands is going to help, and and used to using uh, aliases will make you even faster.